Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can, and together we can game in the last episode of Can't Play Ukulele. We were in Moody Maze Marsh. In this episode, we are going to continue forward. We beat the level 3 boss, Treb the Tentacle. In this episode, Tentacle. Tentacle, not Tentacle. Pokemon references everybody. In this episode, we're going to continue moving forward in the level. So there are some quills this way. Oh, Trying to remember... So now it seems like this is timed. And at a certain time, every one of those does something different. There's some quills down there, I'm sure. I was right. Let's go ahead and surprise them. Neither of them have any health. Wasn't really expecting them to. Do you have anything to say? If Lizard want Pagey, he reach end of course before time run out. Also, Lizard not turn off power while save icon on screen. Otherwise, definitely not get Pagey. What say? Alright, another time trial. Remember, Lizard, not miss hoops so no Pagey. Okay. Oh, I think I, uh, I made a mistake. Lizard, fail! Come back! Yeah, Lizard did fail. Lizard did fail. Oh man, I was in this section last time, but all right, we see the objective. I did this to get there. I see what the mechanic is. If this, okay, we've seen this. So one thing I wish it would do is just give us the option to redo a section, not having to hear a feel each time. I will say, oh, uh, Oh, well, I made a mistake there. Wasn't for the fact that I'm timed, I probably would have gone back for it, but ultimately I can just do this again. Hey. What do I oh Okay, well, the bright side, get a second shot, and I'm sure this takes me to that one pipe we saw, so that's actually really good, and there's a secret, so all in all, luckily they were kind enough to give us that if we fail on the course. Alright, so this is what I mean though. I do think that this is a lot of fun, I enjoy these kind of more fast pace sections and I wonder has anyone actually done any speed runs of ukulele I don't know if this game is one of the games that leads itself to be sped up and ran fast but I am just generally curious if there has been if you know of any please let me know in the comments below I'd like to check them out once I uh, beat this game of course this is what tripped me up last time Okay, keep going, and then I can quickly go back. Oh no, no, really, at the bottom too. Okay, well, I'll just skip ahead to when I get this proper. All right, I am here. Yay, got the pagey. Now that was very fun actually. So now the problem is, can I get back to all these areas? Yeah, I can. Ah, I see what it wants me to focus on. It's over there. How do I get to it? Maybe a little something like this. Okay, so I see this. I think maybe I need to get on this branch. Okay. Then maybe, can I? Yes I can! Got the upgrade. Pretty happy with that. Don't think there's anything of worth here. There is not. Just worth checking out though. See that was something I'm glad I did, but if I would have done that on the initial run, it would have definitely slowed me down. So this will just take me back.
See? No, luckily, it didn't take too much damage from that. And did I do her task? I can't remember. Happy adventure, friends! I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes, it appears I have. Trying to remember everything I did. Been a while since this episode to the last episode. So, continuing moving forward, I've also bumped the graphics settings. Let me know if it looks better from this episode to the previous. Hopefully it's a obvious yes. If not, then darn it. <laughs> and from there, then I'm just talking to myself, really. Okay, though. Continuing on the path, got another PG, got an extension to my magic. And I'm really enjoying Moody Maze. It's been a really fun set of levels for me. It has a lot of dark themes, and I definitely like darker levels in gaming. I know I'm usually one of the very few that is like that, but if you like dark levels too, of course, please let me know in the comments below. I don't think Vendi has anything of use to me yet. Alright, let's see. Going this way. It's, at this point, I'm just trying to find the, all the PGs, because that's going to lead me pretty much to where I need to go. I believe I've done the Rextro level. Again, just kind of going through. Seeing what I can do still. Alright, why don't we go to the menu? One of the very few times I've actually pulled this up. So... Just get a little bit of what I've been up to. Moody Maze. So, okay, 40. There's a good amount left. We have not done the DN Ray for this level. So there's still a good amount to do before we can uh, move on. And of course, this is kind of my first 3D action. Uh, I mean, it's, there's Spyro, but I actually have played this. This is my first blind 3D action uh, platform thing So on the channel platform game. Feel like... Yes. Okay. How do I get to it? I do like that tonic. That's honestly probably the best tonic I have. I don't see what else that could be for, though. How does one... Maybe... Ah! Easy. Speaking of the Molly Cool. Oh, and this gives a platform now. Got it. Pretty happy about that. There's some quills down here I can easily try to get. Ooh, there's some more in there. Maybe this probably leads somewhere. Yes, it does. Anytime there are quills, especially in a game like this, they tend to lead to a seeky seeky. Secret area. I have no idea what happened there. Ooh. All right, with this, I think what I have to do, that was smart. That was really well designed for the level designers. And this really feels like a Nintendo game uh, in the best ways. I know it's Rare, so Rare obviously worked on a lot of Nintendo classics, but they do have that Nintendo feel, at least for me. And you know, I've never grew up on those games, the rare uh, platform games. I have played Donkey Kong Country, so I have played some. But yeah, never Banjo-Kazooie. I kind of really missed out on the Nintendo 64 era. And I know I'm not the only one too, as well. A lot of people missed out on that era. Continuing to go through the pier. Okay, just trying to make my way through more colorful maze-like areas. What? Oh, that's interesting. So now, this is actually a pretty cool way I think I found to get around. Pretty sure it's what I'm supposed to do. You could probably also just do this all in one go. Okay, there's more quills over here. Always try to look around. More quills, more adventure, more journey. Ooh. Why is that doing that? What is around? Probably something very useful. Or it's in plain sight and I'm just oblivious. 
Hmm. Maybe I need to be heavier. Maybe I need to hit him in a certain order. What could it be wanting me to do? Of course, I'm lucky enough to have this. So what is the solution for this? What is the thing it wants me to do? Not obviously it wants me to stand on them, but how do I... How do I do that and keep this open? Oh, I see what it wants. So then I keep on this. That's actually a really good puzzle design. I like that. So then that can hit that, right? So now I think what I need to do. Is it gonna close? I can't tell if it is or not. It is slowly closing. I keep hearing the whistle though. Oh no. Well, I guess I've made a decision to keep on this now. So, what does this actually do? Need to blow that, and then, oh, okay. Which then moves that gate. Keeping through, alright, keeping through these tunnels is actually keeping me pretty well alive. I just wish I knew what exactly I'm supposed to be looking for. Because I keep hearing the whistle. Maybe I'm just very blind to the obvious answer, but I wish I knew what I was going for. So I honestly think the faster solution is just to get out of the bubble. But here's the PG. All of that for a PG, but that's pretty, pretty for the course. And then that should open. Kind of wondering now, what was the noise that was very prominent? Like, what was it trying to tell me? Maybe it's something I'll have to come back through, because I do want to do the final uh, couple episodes where I just go back and get miscellaneous things. Of course, and then more pages down here. I can never tell what the pages are for specifically. Maybe it's for this. Help! I'm getting jabbed by thorns down here! I don't know how I'm supposed to make my way through there. Seems to be dragging me in this direction, so let's go in! Maybe it'll take me to the bottom there, who knows. Swampy Station. Interesting. We keep going under tunnels, through pipes, whoa! Alright, let's go! Trying my best to, uh, get these bees without hurting me. So what is this way? Maybe I don't have the power up I need. Okay, maybe there's something... It feels like maybe there's a certain flower I need that I still don't have yet. I don't know why I just let that guy do as much damage as I let him do to me. Maybe I can just... Alright. Ah, there's what it is. I think 
I need to somehow get this uh, Ghost Rider. I think. So it's gonna obviously run from me. Thinks it's pretty funny. I don't know if I need to attack it or not. I can't ever tell. So, okay. Get out of the bubble. So usually you're told to get out of your bubble, but in this game, got him! Nice! You unlocked a new tonic! Come pay me a visit! Of course, Vendi, eventually we will all pay Vendi a visit right now, though. My priority. There's more, though. I think. Never mind. It feels like I'm missing something very obvious. Ah, uh, there it is. I am missing something very obvious. I mean, again, I'm sure it's one of those, if you've played or you noticed it, moments where you're like, God, Andrew, why? Ooh. I slow down there with all of those explosions. Makes sense. I mean, pretty intensive amount of stuff on screen. Huh. Maybe I need to... Really? Uh, I'm a little confused now. Huh. But that didn't do it. Hmm. Something else supposed to do it? So now... Now it's trying to figure out what to do in here. Is there something I'm just clearly missing? Alright. I guess maybe I'll come back for this. How does one... There's gotta be a reason, right? Like, they wouldn't just include this if they're... Like, that's the thing. And that's what always gets me in these games. I feel like they wouldn't just have it to have it. I always feel like I do things I'm not supposed to do. Okay. Right, so there's all this. Maybe I'm breaking sequence again. Let's go. But again, what else would they include this for? Like, that's what I'm trying to understand. There's no other reason to include this. Right? Like, what do they gain? Hmm. Unless that's where I'm supposed to be focusing. Because there's a giant fan, right? Maybe I'm looking too much into it. I feel like this is right. I mean... Unless I'm just very dense. Probably the latter. I'm sure it was right here, you know, let me try things that look like they could be bombed before I, you know, give up. Alright, that's gonna really confuse me, but I'm gonna leave it at that. The obvious.
Hmm, the obvious is not what they want us to do. Okay. Even though that's what it feels like it was. That would not be what it wants. Okay, well, I've spent enough time in here. Looks like I'm gonna have to come back with another power-up. Which is a pretty common theme where you can't do everything in one go. I don't even know if that adds replay value or maybe there is a way to do it and I'm just very blind. But we'll see. If you know, uh, let me know in the comments, obviously, if this is in the future and the project is done. I'll probably have figured it out. But I'm still curious. Let me know if you knew what to do there first time, because that's actually pretty confusing for me. Bones. Okay. Well, I found the molecule. And up oh, here's the DNA. Watch, watch what we need to be in here. What have you got for us this time, Doc? Oh, hello there. I wasn't expecting you. It's a shame we have to cross paths in such a damp, smelly place. I thought you'd feel right at home amongst the other reeds. That reminds me, I have a very special transformation prepared. This next form is even too powerful for the dummy Doctor Quack to comprehend. We're ready, Doc. We found your molecule, molecule, already. Great, step onto the transformation plate and press A to start the DN ray. Maybe it's like some sort of uh, submarine or something? I'm actually really curious. It's in the water, right? So like we gotta... Seems likely. Are you ready to transform? Yeah, let's go for it. Magnificent! That's my kind of transformation. To control the shell, use and okay. No, I was trying to control the. Interesting. Oh, hi. All right, so we can rise and fall. This is very different than what I was expecting. Seems like, or maybe, ah, that's what it's trying to tell me. I don't know what we'll need that for. No, oh, I'm getting jabbed by thorns down here. Well, I think I was able to help you pretty, pretty well, I do say. So this is definitely what we need it for because we wouldn't be able to get through that without it. Dusky duck. Oh, man. It is cool being a school of fish. That was a transformation I did not see happening. Let me know if you saw this coming. Genuinely very curious. Can we not? Oh, we can. We are stronger than it. We're stronger than the current. Okay. Now it makes a little more sense. Oh, that's what that's for. So now we look for uh, bones on the ground. Ooh. This will be fun. All right. That was pretty easy. Two for two. Come on, let's go ahead and get the one. Or, ooh. Really thought we'd be had on that one. Does this mean we can destroy them? I'm curious. Yeah, that is awesome. Finally get rid of those jellyfish. They've been a pain in my backside for a bit. I just kind of want to look around. Look for bones on the ground. Take these out so I don't have to worry about them. I'm sure those that gas has something to do. Nice! You unlocked a new tonic. Pay me a visit. 
Alright, so it's cool that if you get electrocuted, uh, it actually stays in vibration for quite a bit on the controller. Uh, just a little bit of input. I don't know, obviously. If you're playing this with keyboard and mouse, that, that feature will probably be lost. But this is definitely a console game that was ported to computer. And uh, not a PC game ported to console. And I don't know. I sometimes think that... I think platformers... Maybe I'm the 1%. Obviously, but I think pure platformers where it is just, you know, it is just simple moving and jumping feel better with, uh, they just feel better in my opinion with, uh, controls of analogs and such. Okay. Trolley down! I need saving! Hey you! Go get a St. Bernard that can hold a breath for a long time, will ya? How did this happen? How can this happen to me? <laughs> I made my mistakes. A subaquatic, ooh. Inherent danger, but falling bone piles took even me by surprise. Now I'm done for. Don't worry, we'll have you out from under those bones in a jiffy. Sorry, I got a little bit entranced in song. Let's go. Take you out. Take you out. I don't see any difficulty with this mission. Ah, that's better. Here, have some paper rubbish. I found earlier in the slightly soiled, but one heroic trolley's trash is another adventurer's treasure, so they say. Cool, that's just what we were hoping for. So wow, we've gotten uh, two. We were able to get two things. Two pages. Thanks again for the PG. Are you coming back ashore? The bones! They crush my wheels, as long as my spirit. It looks like this is where I'll see out the rest of my days, unless you two could carry me out of here. Sorry, we don't speak, Trolley. Let's go, Yuka. He'll figure a way out. Oh, I kind of want to help him, even though I don't have a way to help him. Doesn't mean I don't want to. So now I'm curious what those bones on, uh, back out here do. Cause I could have sworn, yeah, here we are. I think this is just showing me we can do that with bones, maybe? That's cool that we can go through there. All this from finding uh, the molly cool. Continue over here. What happens when we go above land? Or, oh, we can't. You know what? There's other ways we can go in here. No, we can't. Interesting. It won't let us, but this one doesn't have. Really curious on this one. Swampy Station. Is this what we need to do to get out of here? Ah, we just transform. That's pretty. That eh, makes sense. Yeah, anytime an enemy like that is hit, it seems to slow it down. I gotta get away from that. Alright, well, now we know. Now we know what happens when we go above land, but it makes sense. I mean, fish can't live on water. I was just curious to what would happen, genuinely speaking. So now, now that we've done all this, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yay! Going through. Having a pretty fun time if I do say so myself. It feels good to get back into recording. Just catching up again, making sure everything I'm doing uh, has purpose. But there's still some things, of course, like in all the levels we've encountered. It's very rare when I can actually do everything, especially in this game, on uh, the first go-round. And I don't know. I, I don't know if I like that. That's something I always struggle with in games. I get it. It brings replay value. The sum. Uh, to me, I'm kind of, I want to do it all in one go. I want to just have a lot of fun, get all the collectibles. But it gives, that's an interesting point of discussion. What are your thoughts on sections where they essentially have required backtracking? Is this the best way I can describe this is just that, required backtracking. Now this section over here reminds me of Frogger. Well, let's 
take two hits for you. I don't- I'm pretty sure this was on purpose. I couldn't imagine why it wouldn't be. Now what is whistling for my attention? Alright. Maybe it's another Ghost Rider. That would make a little bit of sense. Thankfully, I have a good amount of health I can take. A good amount of damage in. Got all those quills there. So let's see. What is whistling at me? Let's go! Taken out. Keep hearing something over here. It may just be nothing of importance, or it could be something really awesome. Never know in this game. I always try to find the higher ground. Nothing immediately jumps out to me. Hmm, what could it want us to do? Something over here. I think this is it. Ooh, did take some fall damage badly for that. Thanks, uh, Lele for helping me out. Ah, he's on fire. I think I need a water flower. Is there a water flower nearby? Seem logical. So let's see. Nothing that I'm seeing. Unless it's an ability. But even the water flower is an ability, so. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to get on here and. Been. Seems like. Seems like we have a lot to figure out. Alright, let's continue to try to find and explore. You know what? We have a lot to figure out in the next episode. Let me know, what did you think of the new transformation? What were your thoughts and opinions on just dealing with that card? I kind of feel bad for leaving him underwater. And it's interesting that he's there. I'd, obviously, it's just a game character, but I care. I'm curious what you have to say. That's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing. And I hope you have a great day.